Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Shetty JK, the Rustic Wanderer. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you some recipes that are going to help you revamp your breakfast. And this recipe have to do with uh, eggs. So let's get started. <laughs> So I recently went to the supermarket and during the grocery haul I ended up buying a big pack of eggs and earlier today when I was looking at this pack of eggs I was asking myself is boiled egg and scrambled egg the only variations of eggs that I know because these are 15 eggs and it's gonna get very boring if I just gonna keep switching between boiled egg and scrambled egg all the time. I'm sure some of you might have been in a situation like this in the past as well and you must be wondering if there is a way to revamp these recipes and add some flavors into them so that eggs don't just remain eggs, good old boring boiled eggs and scrambled eggs but you can spice up the breakfast flavors. Today's video is going to be all about that where I'm going to talk about five recipes inspired by Indian street food and how we eat eggs as a part of the street food life. So let's see what we have. So we have put three eggs to boil here in preparation for the recipes that I'm going to explain next. And while the eggs are boiling, we're going to start chopping our vegetables here. So let's take a closer look at what vegetables I have here. So here I've taken finely diced onion, two to three green chili, two tomatoes, three bell peppers and three to four mushrooms. I'm going to finely dice everything and prepare it in preparation for the recipes that are coming up next. Before we get to cooking, let's quickly take a look at the spices that we would need for some of the recipes. So here we have turmeric, cumin, mustard seeds, ghee for cooking. If you don't have ghee, you could use uh, butter. If you don't have butter, you could use uh, olive oil or any regular vegetable oil that you use for cooking. Red chili powder, coriander powder, salt, chaat masala. Then we also have garam masala, ginger garlic paste, oregano and rosemary. So let's get cooking. So the first recipe that we are going to attempt is called the half fry in which we only break an egg directly into the pan and only cook it from one side. So we're going to take one tablespoon of ghee, turn on the heat and wait for it to melt first. Then we take one raw egg and break it directly into the pan. We just wait a couple of minutes and let it cook. We don't have to do much. As I said, you just cook it from one side. So we let it cook. And in just a couple of minutes, the half fry is set. We reduce the flame. For spices, we just sprinkle it with a little bit of red chili powder on the top. A little bit of salt, depending on how salty you like your omelets. And some fresh crushed black pepper and this is it it's now ready to be served egg yolk is nice and soft and that's the whole point of calling it half fry so let's enjoy this first Next up, we are going to attempt the double egg fry, which is somewhat similar to process to the half fry. The only difference is now we're going to be taking two raw eggs and we'll be cooking it on both sides. So the oil in the pan are nice and hot. There goes the first raw egg. And there goes the second. Now we wait for them to be cooked on one side first and then we flip it over to the other side. It is nearly done from one side, so let's... Do the process again, sprinkle a bit of red chili, a bit of salt and black pepper. And then we wait just a minute or two more for one side to be perfectly done before we flip it over.
Okay, so we flipped it over and we're gonna let it cook from the other side as well. So since this is double fry, means it's cooked on both sides, it's especially good for people who don't like runny yolks because this is gonna make it cook from both sides. So a couple of more minutes and then we can put this out on a dish. Let's flip it over and quickly check if it's done on both sides properly. Yes, it's ready to be served. Looks like a nice shape of a heart. There we go, our double fry cooked on both sides, no runny yolks. Nice and ready to be served. So let's enjoy this before moving on to the next recipe. Next up is the good old hard boiled egg, but I'm not going to eat it as it is. I'm going to spice up this as well and, and make it the Indian street food way. So typically in India, you could eat it in one of two ways. One is we just slice it, put some red pep, red chili powder and some salt on it and eat it like that. But the other way is what I'm going to show you. But for that, I'm going to have to slice it into half first. Okay. And now that we have sliced it into half, we're going to throw this into the pan that already had some of the ghee left over from our previous recipe. We're going to turn on the heat to medium high and we're going to cook it so that it becomes crispy and the ghee is going to give it its flavor. So let's cook it for a few minutes. So after waiting for a few minutes, our boiled eggs are nice and golden brown. From the bottom we have flipped them over to cook it on the other side and turned off the heat in the meantime we've sprinkled some red chili some salt and some chaat masala to revamp this recipe of the good old boiled eggs which should no longer be boring at this point so let me enjoy this and we'll continue with the recipes for the remaining variations okay so for the next recipe is why we have chopped these vegetables actually partially why we would need uh, portions of these for the, both the next two recipes. So first I want to talk about the masala omelette. So for the masala omelette, we can put either the vegetables on the top of the omelette when it's ready just before flipping it over. But the way I like to do it is to mix everything in a bowl already while whisking and then just throw it on a hot pan. So let me quickly take portions of these uh, vegetables and break one raw egg in there and then throw it in the pan for making the masala omelette. In the same time while I'm adding everything into the bowl I'm going to throw in the spices that I like to put in in my omelette which is black pepper, red chili, salt, chaat masala and a little bit of garam masala as well. So let me do that. <music> So after giving it a nice whisk with all the masalas, I transferred the batter into the hot pan um, and I'm just going to let it cook. Normally people like to flip it halfway through to cook it on both sides and let the vegetables cook as well. Some people put a lid on top and let the vegetables cook. I normally prefer to let it cook on uh, an open pan like this so that all the moisture evaporates and I only cook it on one side. So let's just wait a few minutes till this masala omelette cooks and then it's ready to enjoy. So the masala omelette is nice and ready. Uh, if you could get a smell in a video, you would have smelled pizza in the house, but that's not pizza, that's my masala omelette that has an amazing smell. Also, just before transferring it to the plate and eating it and enjoying the nice aroma and the flavors, I have sprinkled rosemary and thyme on the top. I've also added a secret ingredient, which is a dash of cinnamon, which further enhances the flavor of this omelette. So let's transfer it to a plate and enjoy this. So by now you have seen four out of five egg recipes as I had promised, all of them inspired by Indian street food style. Uh, if you're still watching this video, the last recipe is going to be a bonus because it's a two-in-one recipe where you start off with one variant and halfway through 
either you can decide to stop and enjoy it right there and then or you could continue further and convert it into another dish so i'm going to show you how this works and at that turning point i'm going to let you know that at this point part of the recipe has finished and that is good enough to be enjoyed as it is and then if you decide to continue further and enjoy the other variant that i'm going to talk about you can continue with the recipe further i saved this recipe for the last in order to give some benefit for my viewers who have been watching this video from beginning up until now this recipe is somewhat a fusion of the indian street food style my own experiments and partly mediterranean style because um, I did a fusion of the Mediterranean shakshuka, uh, the western scrambled egg and the Indian street food style and I threw in a couple of my own ingredients and that's where I came up with this two in one recipe and it turns out really delicious every time and these are best enjoyed with bread. Uh, the other recipes that we have talked about so far, all four of them, you could have it just the egg in that recipe just by itself or you could throw in a bread if you want to. But these, these, this recipe is something where you would benefit if you were able to throw the bread with it. Also remember that if you were to enjoy these dishes on the streets, they get to control how much oil goes in and how much vegetable goes in. And I don't suppose most of these dishes would be as loaded with vegetables as I showed you in my videos because that's the benefit of cooking them at home. Do keep this in mind when you're cooking and without any further ado, let's continue with the five with fifth recipe, the two in one recipe as I had promised. So in the first part of this video is what you're going to see the Indian street food style scrambled egg, which is the first half of this two in one recipe. So for this, we're going to throw in a bit more ghee into the pan. And we're going to turn on the heat, wait for the heat to melt. And this is where we're going to use majority of the spices that I showed you in the beginning of this video. And all of these vegetables are going to come in handy for this part of the video. So we're going to begin by throwing in cumin seeds. Mustard seeds are optional. If you were to check these videos online, most of the people don't use mustard seeds, but that's just something that I really like. So I'm going to use them because I can. Uh, I'm cooking it at home myself, so I get to decide what goes in. Then we're going to toast this for a bit and wait a few moments for the cumin seeds and mustard seeds to toast and start giving the nice aroma. Then we're going to throw in our chopped green chilies, our chopped onion, the onions, the cumin have all been nice and toasted for a couple of minutes. We're going to add in the ginger garlic paste now. A generous serving. I'm going to keep stirring it so that it doesn't get stuck to the pan. And then we add the rest of our vegetables. We can throw in all of them. Now we add all the spices. So just a bit of red chili because we have to remember we have already thrown in the green chili in there. So we don't want it to be too spicy one to one and a half spoons of turmeric powder two spoons of coriander powder and salt to taste now we're gonna cook everything and add a little bit of water so that the tomatoes can be cooked properly and all the spices get cooked properly as well so let's wait a few minutes and then we continue the recipe. So as you can see all the vegetables and the spices are cooked properly now. Now to move on to the next step uh, which is we need one to two raw eggs to be thrown inside and we're gonna make the Rustic Wanderer special scrambled egg inspired by the Indian street food. So there are two ways of doing it. One is you could push all the masala to one side and break your raw eggs on a different corner of the pan. Or you could break it over top of this and mix everything up. 
Normally people prefer to do it here, but I am okay with either version. So I'm just gonna break it on top of the masala and then mix it all up. So just like that, the eggs are cooked and you've gotten yourself the Indian street food style egg burji or the rustic wonder special scrambled egg. Uh, it is at this stage that the two in one recipe, the first part is now ready to be served. So if you want, you could just stop here, throw in a bit of uh, lime juice on top and you could start serving this already with some bread on the side. If you want to continue with the recipe, uh, you will end up with something what is called as Anda Ghotala, which is a very funny name for the recipe because it literally means egg scandal. Um, for this recipe is why we needed the boiled eggs that I used in the beginning. So remember at the beginning of the video we had three boiled eggs. I've only used one so far for making the fry boiled egg and the other two now go in here. So you're going to throw in the boiled eggs. If you have a grater, you're supposed to grate it like uh, fine grated cheese. If not, you could cut it uh, into thin strips as I have done here and throw that in here. So we're now moving on to the last part or the further extension of this recipe, the anda gotala. So we have thrown in all the boiled egg in here. We're going to give it a nice mix. Now for this recipe to work, we have to do two things. One is add a bit more water, about half a cup, because this recipe is from the Gujarat region, Surat region of India in Gujarat. And it is inherently supposed to be slightly wet. But since you are the one cooking, you decide how wet do you want to keep it. Also, it is optional, but if you have some tomato ketchup, you can throw that in as well. It adds to a bit of tangy flavor to this. And after mixing all of that, we move on to the final stage of this recipe, which is breaking in one to two raw eggs inside. So here you've already thrown in the burji, you've thrown in the boiled egg and now you're going to throw in raw eggs but you're just going to keep them intact somewhat like a poached egg. So normally for that I like to make pockets in here and break the egg inside a pocket. So let's say we make one here and then we make another one there. So we're going to have two poached eggs sort of in the middle. So let's break the raw eggs inside. And then all you need to do is to garnish it with coriander if you have some. All right, so after cooking for about 10 minutes or so on medium low, low heat, you can see our anda ghotala or egg scandal or anda kima ghotala, however you want to call it, is now ready to be served. So about garnishing, if you have fresh coriander, that would be perfect to throw it on top right now. If you don't, then you could use uh, dry crushed fenugreek leaves like I'm doing because they add a really amazing aroma. If you don't even have access to these, you could use the good old oregano, thyme, rosemary or other herbs of your choice. Aromatic herbs on top, tastes really amazing. What you could do is you could also garnish it with uh, raw onion and raw tomatoes on the top. And remember to serve it with bread. It tastes really amazing with bread. So guys, as promised, those were five different no fuss, easy to cook egg recipes inspired by Indian street food and customized by yours only, The Rustic Wanderer. Give them a try at home and do comment down below to let me know which of these five variations do you like the most. Also, if you have tried some other variations inspired by the Indian street food, do comment down below and let me know so I can experiment around with the flavors and, and get a taste of it myself. 
Be sure to like and share this video with other foodies that want to try and get a flavor of Indian street food. Even if they are not in India, they could cook in their own homes because as you can see, most of the ingredients that are used are easy to find even when you're living abroad. Also, it would greatly help if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications so that you get notified immediately as soon as the next video goes live. I hope you liked my cooking video series and you are enjoying cooking at home inspired by the recipes that I am providing you. This is Rustic Wanderer signing off. Take care.